Finding boondocking locations for a big rig can sometimes be a stressful and uncomfortable experience, and it can definitely be a test of your patience. I think you're about as low as you're gonna get. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> uh -oh. I don't know if you guys could see that tire. This tire right here. It was just sliding. In this episode, we're on the hunt for the perfect boondocking location for our 36 foot fifth wheel so that we can explore the Four Corners area in Southwest Colorado. As usual, things don't always go according to plan. And I'm gonna burn everything from over here on down and everything from there. This whole field and everything is gonna be on fire tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> After last week's episode, we left Alamogordo, New Mexico and enjoyed a super quick visit to Albuquerque. Albuquerque, Albuquerque, Albuquerque. You don't know what I'm talking about. Weird out. While we were there, we were able to visit with some family, explore Petroglyph National Monument, and stroll the historic streets of Old Town. Let's hit the road. Okay, it's another travel day. We are getting ready to leave Albuquerque right now. Okay, well, a uh, slight change of plans. Plans? What are those? The place that we were planning on going to outside of Farmington was not necessarily going to be our best option for a few reasons. One, there's only eight spots and we were rereading all the reviews and everybody was like, weekends, it is packed with ATVers. So the odds of finding a spot on a Saturday evening at like five o'clock, pretty damn slim. We're heading up to Colorado. Oh, look at those mountains. Uh, yeah, we can <laughs> no. see we can see the Rockies, and uh, they're pretty snowy. They're pretty snowy, so that's the only problem. We got ourselves into a pickle. We did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them white mountains. Yeah, they are really snow capped. So we'll see. Stay tuned. It's always an adventure with the roaming Russells because you never know what you're gonna get. Because we don't know what we're gonna get. We are coming up on. Saul's Creek, I think, was the place. We're still driving out the road, so we don't know what it's gonna end at. We're pretty sure the gate's gonna be closed, but the reviews that we were reading were that there was a pretty good size lot at the, at the gate, so hopefully we're able to park there. We'll see. It's pretty though. After bypassing our original intended destination outside Farmington, New Mexico, we found ourselves at Saul's Creek Dispersed Camping, 30 minutes east of Durango, Colorado. As luck would have it, the gates were locked to the actual camping area, but we decided the parking lot was big enough to call home for the next week. Hi. We loved the area around Saul's Creek. We rode our bikes along the dirt roads and we went walking on the numerous trails nearby. It's too beautiful here to pass up. So we are out on a, another evening stroll. So this area is at 7,100 feet. And I can tell you, I can tell. <laughs> We are at Saul's Creek Dispersed Camping and there are lots of, sorry, and there are lots of trails, uh, lots of roads. So we're about to take the bikes out. Oh, did you see that? No. It's on fire. Yeah. Like the smoke? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's on fire. Little did we know that this spot too wouldn't work. After two wonderful days of exploring, Jason happened to see some Forest Service workers putting up a notice board. Strapping the bikes on, we are prematurely leaving our Saul's Creek dispersed camping location. Um, I'll show you in a minute, but behind me over there, Jason happened to notice earlier people that work for the Forest Service putting a notice board up. So 
we went to go check it out and they're lighting the whole place on fire. Like literally everything around us is gonna be a controlled burn tomorrow. So we have to move. <laughs> And just like that, we are once again on the move. RV life at its finest. Hey guys, okay, I think we found a spot. Whee! Not bad, huh? Driving a half hour west of Durango, Colorado brought us to Madden Peak Dispersed Camping, where you can find dozens of sites suitable for a large rig. Biking and walking trails are a must for us, and this location did not disappoint in that regard. Oh. I won't get much further. Oh my gosh! I guess we're not. I think we're stuck. I guess we're done. <laughs> you wanna have a snowball fight? No. Can I throw a snowball at you? No. Can I anyways? No. Why? Was this site too good to be true? Yes. Soon after arriving, we got hit with another unexpected challenge, a snowstorm. In case you didn't know, we do not full-time RV to get stuck in the snow. Jason is outside brushing off the solar panels because we got a little bit of snow last night and uh, obviously not going to be bringing in much solar if we have snow covering the panels. While the snow may have been a little less than ideal, this proved to be the perfect boondocking home base for us to explore from. Bike rides, trips to Mesa Verde, and the Durango Silverton Railroad were just a few of the adventures we went on while at Madden Peak. The last week also reminded us that life as a full-time RVer is completely unpredictable. If you'd like to learn about the perfect boondocking location just outside of Phoenix, click here. Otherwise, we'll see you all next week when we explore Mesa Verde. Cheers! <laughs>